being beaten up. <laughs> and wearing the other guy down. And Lennox, your fight in Madison Square Garden against Ray Mercer came down to heart and conditioning. Will this fight come down to heart and conditioning? Absolutely. You got two guys in there that definitely want this fight badly. Wright drives Taylor into the corner. Taylor got a lazy start the round. Now he bangs the right cross straight through the middle. That's what Emmanuel Stewart's been asking for. Right hand lead straight up the gut. It landed two times for Taylor, and he followed with a body shot. Wright sticks him with the jab again, nails him in the corner, and begins to go to work. Big rally for Winky. the center of the ring, Wright is wary of Taylor's power and doesn't throw nearly as often as when he gets him against the ropes. And now Taylor begins to throw his jab after having gone several rounds without using it effectively. Taylor backs into a corner. See if Wright tries to take advantage. Taylor uses his jab, something he hasn't been doing in this position, and blocks a couple of shots, something he has not previously effectively done. One of the things I notice about Taylor is how relaxed he is compared to the fight with Hopkins. And maybe that comes from his being a champion. And maybe it comes from the six weeks at Kronk with a lot of other fighters who think they're champions. I think it's Kronk. Definitely gives you that confidence when you're down there. You know, you're, you're boxing against stars and you're in a, in a, okay, in a club hand, that's got a renowned name, Kronk. As Emmanuel Stewart said about Kronk, there are no sparring partners here. Everyone here thinks the other guy is his sparring partner. Jermaine Taylor had a rough first few days there, but got through it. Now Winky Wright tries to put him in jail in the corner again and land the punches that have won rounds for him so far in the fight. I've just counted 11 unanswered punches by Wright. Now well, there's Taylor. six or seven unanswered by Taylor. Now Taylor comes back. Can he land the harder ones? No, no, Taylor no. needs to get off the ropes. He ducks his no, shots. It's not a good position for him. Hard left hand lands for right. Straight down the pipe. Left hook for Jermaine Taylor. Punch saved him a couple times against Hopkins when he appeared to be in trouble. Another left hook lands for Taylor. Winky Wright gets in a little right hook inside. They both made a lot of contact in a fight that was expected to be partially dominated by Wright's technical defensive prowess. Good round, Wink. Good round. Good round. Good round. Sit down, baby. Sit down. All right, breathe, champ. Come on. Relax. 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 I know he did. You're okay. You're okay. You're going to his touch. You're okay. You know what you're doing, Wink. You gotta start stepping more. You keep moving your head all the time. Move your head. Move your head. Keep your punch output up. All right? Yes. Keep the punch output up. In hand, because he's wide open after that. You gotta try to catch Winky while he's jabbing. It's the best time to catch him. Yes, sir. See, you try to throw one twos and then not he kind of blocks him. Try to let him start his jab. Here we got a clash of heads, whether it was intentional or not. Definitely not intentional. But Winky definitely felt that. Power punches through the ninth round. Taylor, 90 out of 278. Throwing more, landing only one more. Right, 89 out of 233. More accurate. Taylor landing the harder shots. Once again, the fight is even on Harold Letterman's scorecard. We go to the ninth round. Who will tire first in the cauldron of pressure here in Memphis? he hasn't had enough to do in this fight. He's had virtually nothing to do. Both 
fighters seem to be getting a little bit of a rest here to begin the night. Very sportsmanlike, they touch gloves after another near clash of heads. See, in a situation like this, when, when Emmanuel speaks to you and he's in the ring when you're sparring, he usually says, you have to start it off first. Always start off first. And what he means by that is just start with the jab. You gotta start off first. You gotta make it look good to the judges. That's what Taylor's trying to do, but his left eye is beginning to swell shut. So Taylor's vision could be compromised down the stretch out of the left eye. Significant because, of course, that's the lead eye against Wright's jab. And the reason the eye is swelling is Wright's jab. But on the other hand, Jermaine Taylor lands a big right hand there. And a right hand through the guard there. And when he shoots the right hand as a lead without trying to set it up as a jab, he lands it more frequently. Winky goes to the body shots as he gets Jermaine in the corner. Now Flurry's upstairs, but part of those punches were blocked. Winky, Taylor looks a little bothered. Taylor's eye. Weak, weak, yeah. But also, Winky is also puffed up around the eyes. I don't think it's uh, bothering him as much. No, because his vision isn't compromised. Okay, okay, but Jermaine's vision is definitely going to be compromised out of his left eye down the stretch, unless they can get the swelling to stop a little bit. Hard right hand by Taylor. Right shakes his head. That always means he landed. Good left hook by Taylor. Right has to come back with a flurry of his own. Winky always knows when Taylor has done something that the judges will like, he tries to answer it right away. Jermaine Taylor's eye is closing very rapidly now. There's no way he can see out of that left eye. The reason why that eye is closing is because of Winky Wright's right jab. That's always effective and that's always getting in there. But it's causing Jermaine to compete as he lets his hands go for a five-punch combination. Okay. Close round. You won that round. You won that round. As long as you don't get in the ropes, you're winning the fight. Stay off the ropes. When you're the ropes is when he gets those points. You see the Minnesota ring popping, moving in and out, moving in and out, moving in and out. And that's the only way you got to win, okay? Popping in and out, you're winning the fight. You won that round. Keep him out there. You're winning the fight. Keep him out there for your boxing and making him use his legs. Here we have another headbutt. Okay. It was on that left eye. This so that is where Jermaine started puffing up. So it was caused by a headbutt. Hey, Copy box numbers hey. in the 12. Taylor 12 out of 56. Wright 16 out of 43. Hey. You heard Emmanuel Stewart very concertedly Rub telling Taylor out. that he won Rub the round. Out. Harold, how do you have it through not? Hook ancient, 86, 85, five hey. rounds to fall. Rara, Winky, right. Jim, I thought right he won here. rounds eight oh. and nine. He, he took the lead in rounds eight and nine. Jeremy's being bothered by that left eye. I, I think Winky's punch output is really picked up. He's showing he's a great physical condition. He's the effective aggressor. I think he's winning the fight, but very, very close by one round. Five to four, Winky. Lennox. I have the same score, by the way. Why was Emmanuel so concerted in telling Jermaine that he's winning the fight? Was that to keep him from get, getting discouraged because of the eye? Absolutely. Oh, and I, I think he told him the right thing to do. Yeah, Definitely yeah, stay yeah. off the ropes. Because when he's on the ropes, that's when Rick Winky's Lord. taking advantage of him. Warning, okay? Don't push down on it. Okay. All right, that's a second warning against uh, Jermaine Taylor for pushing down on Winky Wright. Reminiscent of the two warnings that Lennox Lewis got for that in his fight against Mike Tyson here, June 8, 2002. Taylor firing his right hand and lands it twice. Third big right hand. Right lands his jab. Taylor comes back with two more right hand shots. And another. And an uppercut. Jermaine's bringing the crowd to life in Memphis as he tries for a knockout with a left hook. As long as he stays in the middle of the ring, he's done well, but here he goes back on the ropes. And puts his gloves up and blocks some of the shots, but takes some others from Winky Wright. Wright throws all the punches when they're on the ropes. Taylor throws the punches in the center of the ring. Three little body shots for Wright. 
Taylor backs away, now finds himself in the corner again. Very precarious, and bangs his way out with an uppercut and two rights. Now Winky steps in to pressure him again. is chanting JT for Jermaine Taylor. And he answers them and responds with two right hands. Now they go back toward the center of the ring. Now Taylor backs into a corner again. Wright looks for his opportunities. Doesn't throw as freely as he has sometimes in the past. That's because of those big right hands, which are discouraging Wright a little bit in this round. Now Wright goes to work to the body, and Taylor thrashes him upstairs. Wright again to the body. Good fight, Lennox. Yeah, absolutely. Both fighters showing great determination. Another head button there. Link is definitely complaining about it. And while he complains, Taylor goes to work. I've never seen Linky Wright's face look like this. And I haven't seen Taylor's face look like this either. That's correct. This is definitely a fight. So you've discovered that, eh, Lennox? <laughs> Another right hand backs right off. Big round for Taylor. You want that round. Give it, a, give it a ice. Give it a ice. You want that round, okay? Give him some water, Frank. Get the mouthpiece out. As long as you keep this man in the center of the ring, you're beating him. He only beats you when you go back and take your break in the ropes, okay? Yes, when you get inside, just push it back in. Don't go take no breaks. You're winning this round fight now. You keep him in the center of the ring. His legs are not that good, but when you go to the ropes, it's when you get beat. So keep him in short. You're letting him work too much. Use your legs. And when you're in close, you got to punch in combinations. Come on, baby. You got to go four, five, six at a time, Wink. Gotcha. Just like you did in the corner. You got to do that three, four times. Gotcha. Come on, let it go. We need these. Both fighters know that the fight is up for grabs. Both trainers are aware. 